This race is not the only one headed to a runoff. Eight others will be contested on May 16th. They are City Council Districts 2, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 14, as well as at-large Group 5 and the property appraiser position. One race that had a clear winner was City Council District 1, which covers much of the Arlington community. That race flipped from a Democrat-controlled seat to Republican. On your side, Andrew Badillo spoke with the winner, former First Coast News reporter, Ken Amaro. Yeah, Anthony, Ken Amaro won District 1 handily, earning 66% of the votes, beating Democrat Alton McGriff Jr. Amaro, who spent 42 years as a reporter at First Coast News, said he plans to be present in his community and hopes it can be a place for new families to come to rather than shy away from. But sometimes you just don't For decades, if you had a problem, you told Ken. Go, there. Ken, we're rooting for you. Thank you. Now, in a different <laughs> arena, you can still tell Ken. I used to say that uh, I didn't have any police authority. All I had was a microphone and a TV camera to get things done. After four decades as a reporter at First Coast News, Amaro has been elected to Jacksonville City Council, representing District 1 his home. When I moved here in 1975, it was the classic suburban community. Streets are super clean. Uh, I jokingly used to say the neighborhood where you have 2.2 kids in a station wagon. 50 years later, Arlington is a far cry from classic suburbia. I live on Fort Car Caroline Road and there always seems to be incidents along Merrill and so you uh, folks are always concerned about what's next. Amaro says crime and infrastructure are two items he'll focus on and says improvements along University Boulevard, a focal point of District 1, are in the works. JU at the extent uh, is part of uh, one of the partners in making sure that uh, this from the bridge all the way to University Park has a new look. As Arlington changes, he says any problems or questions you may have you can always tell Ken. Romero well, told me he looks forward to getting started representing District 1. He will be sworn in this summer. In the newsroom, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side. Thank you.